Welcome back to AI Historic Expeditions. I am your new host, Grace Lynn Rivers. Today we are starting new series to uncover the mystery of red hair in the British Isles. Join us as we explore the intriguing world of Red Hair Britannia. No place on earth is more associated with red hair than Britain, with the highest frequencies found in Ireland, Wales and Scotland. In England, roughly 4% of the people have red hair. Many factors have contributed to this unique characteristic of people on the British Isles, including Viking invasions. Contrary to popular belief, red hair colour is not determined by a single gene, but is the result of numerous genes that interact with each other. There is no single gene for red hair, since it is the absence of the pigment eumelanin combined with the presence of pheomelanin, both of which are governed by multiple genes. As a result, the expression of red hair heavily relies on the choices of mates and probability, sometimes skipping a generation. Even in ancient times, red hair was not uncommon. For example, the forensic examination of hair roots revealed that Ramesses II, the great pharaoh of Egypt, had been a redhead in his younger days. Another famous red-haired figure from Egypt is Cleopatra, although she used plant extracts like henna to dye her hair. During the time of the Roman Empire, red hair did become associated with barbarians as a result of the encounters and conflicts with Germanic tribes. Judas Iscariot, known for his betrayal of Jesus, was often portrayed in medieval paintings with flaming hair and a crimson beard. The phrase Judas colour was even used to refer to red hair. Similarly, Cain, a biblical character, was traditionally depicted as having red hair. King David, another biblical figure, was also depicted as a red-haired man. Interestingly, medieval Europe held numerous prejudices against red-haired people, associating them with witchcraft and the supernatural. People were often cautioned against befriending or seeking advice from redheads. Now, let's explore the Tudor era, where red hair became quite prevalent among the royal and noble circles. It was perceived both as a characteristic associated with membership in the ruling class and as a highly desirable trait in a prospective bride. What all these red and blonde-haired Tudors and Tudor brides had in common was their descent from John of Gaunt, a prominent figure in English history. Our upcoming series, Red Hair Britannia, will delve into the lives of these historical figures, showcasing AI recreations and reimaginings of their red-haired appearances. Get ready to discover some surprising figures that you wouldn't have suspected as redheads. Among the notable individuals we will feature are Boudicca, the warrior queen who challenged Roman rule, King Henry II of England, the legendary Richard I the Lionheart, and Alexander II of Scotland, to name just a few. We'll also shed light on Owen Tudor, Elizabeth Woodville, Anne Neville, Elizabeth of York, and many others from the Tudor era who displayed striking red locks. Red hair became particularly popular during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, leading both men and women to dye their hair and beards red. So, make sure to join us in the forthcoming series Red Hair Britannia, as we delve into the fascinating world of red hair and uncover the surprising historical figures who proudly wore their fiery crowns. Thank you for joining us on this episode of AI Historic Expeditions, Stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you next time.